South Africa landmark 1996 Constitution, which remains a beacon for human rights and equal opportunity. We are President of the Republic of Liberia. Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to stand to, today to pay homage to Africa's greatest hero, Nelson Mandela, on the centenary of his birth. This was a man fought free to free his people from the shackles of apartheid. A man who enlightened the minds of his people to give them courage and hope to stand against racial segregation. A man whose enemies kept him in prison, doing hard labor for almost three decades and did not succeed in breaking his spirit. And when he was free and given the mantle of authority, he forgave his captors and oppressors and united South Africans of all races into a rainbow nation. Nelson Mandela, he was a personal hero to many and a role model. He served as an inspirational reservoir of courage in the face of many adversities. Nelson Mandela teaching is that peace come through reconciliation because he believed a reconciled nation brings about development and prosperity for its people. This lesson was emulated by many, including myself. I followed his philosophy and accepted a role as a UNICEF Peace Ambassador to help humanity. This role allowed me to have traveled the world in the quest for peace and true reconciliation. Nelson Mandela inspired me to work tirelessly to help this armed child soldier during Liberia's civil crisis and bring peace to my country. As he once said, and I quote, courageous people do not fear forgiving for the sake of peace. We are all very fortunate to have spent time during his lifetime on the same planet. All of our lives, in many ways, are better because we were fortunate to know him or to know of him. Baba Madiba, a reconciler and a peacemaker. Let us honor him by promoting peace because without peace and reconciliation, our war will not be stable. I thank you. Doy ahora las la gracias al excelentísimo señor George Manewea, presidente de la República de Liberia. Y doy ahora...